All right, so here's a look at a test I'm doing on some internal lighting. I can't necessarily say that this is accurate to have these lit up, but uh, I really like the effect here. Throws a really nice amount of light all around the place. And even though this is a fluorescent white, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's not ringed by a brass tube. Uh, the colors definitely have a really good change and I like what they're looking like here on camera. The fourth one down at the end there is not a brass tube, it's actually aluminum. And that is the difference that uh, even just metal can make on the effect of uh, an LED's color. Because if we actually take a look at the real color here, this would definitely show up greener than a, a regular warm white LED and definitely far less blue than a standard white LED on camera. So these are just tacked in here real easy. I just want to get another look down here. So there will also be some light coming from behind that door and that's going to be the general room light which if you've seen the other videos is mostly orange. But there's going to be a lot of fiber optics running through the ceiling there and uh, things are going to change a lot when that gets put to go back together. Depending on how far down the tube the light is, that changes not only the effect of the light on the far side, but uh, also when you're looking at it this way it becomes really obvious and what I like about these is at almost any severe angle you cannot see the light itself when it's set back. I cut these brass tubes here at about an inch and those are glued into each side and this is just dry fit in place and all of these LEDs here are loose took a while to wire them all but basically I just repeated the tasks so first I did all the resistors there's 20k of resistors on all eight of these LEDs here and each one of uh, the other landing bays would get the same treatment so that's what 24 LEDs and uh, 48 10k resistors because I don't have any 20k's on hand so I'm just wiring up two 10k's in parallel and I definitely like the amount of light that comes off of here here you can see much more how green it is that's much truer to the actual color here so even now it's definitely looking greener than it was when the uh, over light light overhead light was off but this also gives very little glow on the ground when it's sitting close. It's, uh, this should be about the height of the legs. There's not too much fall off on the ground itself. But if we put it really flat against, you no. Know, Yeah, this just really doesn't give off a lot of light at all. So that's a really nice subtle effect that uh, I think really helps to improve the overall overall aesthetic of it because uh, it can't be overpowering for the size and sitting these just as far back as they'll go I think is probably the right position. So when I'm ready to do that what I have to do now is paint the insides of these walls to whatever color they're going to be because there's really going to be no way to get any really good airbrushing in there flat against those walls ever again. So that has to be done first. That back door has to be painted up as well because all three of those parts essentially go together simultaneously. It's a little bit of a trick. I've placed these walls on all the other legs and they all fit. I was worried about things like this power bus getting in the way or an LED, but 
everything is pretty much well spaced for uh, this treatment here. An inch seems about right. And when I do go to uh, settle these in, I'll get some black silicone and just dab that all around the edges so that will help seal the light in there. And I may even do some around the rims of the bases here. This is just super glued into the plastic. The brass itself does sit some way into the actual uh, surface of the plastic. So whatever thickness it is, it is, that's how much the brass is sitting in there. I tried to cut them really nice, but there's a few things that I definitely need to take a file to and smooth down. But I really like it. And it'll be a toss-up whether I go with... Uh, that's even with really nice colors there, too. Considering that's all apart from the aluminum tube at the back. That's the same LED in the same place. Oh, I see. This one's fallen out. So it's much less light, but that's a really nice orange that gives off. And those other ones are definitely looking to be their brass color that they are. And that the light shown on the area there is more green, which is true to the actual color. And these are all looking nice and gold as well. Yeah, this is definitely... I don't Like I said, I don't know if this is accurate, but... I really like that look there. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, looking at the wall now, I'm thinking of a lot of little details that maybe can be airbrushed into the surface. It's really plain. I don't know if it's accurate again, but you know, if there are some greeblies and stuff going on in there, pipes that connected to the ceiling, that would uh, really liven it up, I think. Don't know if it's accurate, but... You know, I think a lot of model making is just building the kit itself to your level of happiness. So, like from my fine art days when I was painting oils, you never really finish it. It's just always abandoned for a while. And same too with a model. Work it up to as much as you can to the level of detail you're satisfied with. And, uh... Really, that's what it's all about. And if you make some cool little changes that you like, I'm not a stickler to pure accuracy over uh, creative input from the person making it. So this is, again, just a quick look at how I'm setting this up. So all of these, I'm going to have to put more power buses all around. I'm hoping that these wires here will reach over to this bus because having wires going across or blocking the windows here on the doors uh, would definitely not work out and there's like I said a lot of fiber optics that's coming all over the ceiling here because these tubes here are going to route the fiber optics from where they're going the control panels up here computer walls and so on so all of that looks pretty good on the inside. I wish the camera could get a better angle of uh, field of angle of shots. But that is a very small amount of space to uh, look through. And even now, you can kind of see there's a lot of activity in there. And I think that really adds a little extra touch that you wouldn't necessarily get otherwise. And it's pretty much going to stay looking like this. Once I've done a few tests with fiber optics in here, and it looks really cool running through the uh, room down here. So uh, that's where this is at right now. So with this piece, I just got to duplicate it twice more. So I got to uh, get some more brass tube because I don't have any more of this size. I do have aluminum tube that does fit inside here, and that's basically an extender because that was all I had left for the final piece. But whatever this brass diameter is, it was perfect for the drill bit I used, which was really close to the wall circles themselves. I don't know if I shot the uh, actual drilling out of those on video or not. Uh, I'll shoot it again if I need to. So coming up with some more electronics, I want to get up onto the uh, upper levels because I'm not ready to paint all this. I want to make a list of everything I need to paint and then go and do that for a week at a time basically. 
so I can get back to assembly overall. I definitely want to streamline as much of whatever's left of the process for all the parts here. So if I can do a lot of painting at once, a lot of electronics at once, and on the electronics, I'm definitely back into it. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.